Um, this is either a brain or an enormous walnut, I'm not quite sure which. Um, for a long time, it was thought that the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the brain operated in very different ways, had, had very different structures. What, what you always find with the brain is, however complicated your picture is, it's actually even more complicated. And it's proved that this left brain, right brain business isn't quite right. Uh, in fact, a lot of the left brain activities occur in both left and right brain. But the fact is, the brain has two strong operating modes, two strongly different modes of operation, which have become labelled left and right brain, and so we, I've stuck with those labels because it's the most convenient label. And typically, the left brain operation is the one that we're used to in business. So it's logical, it's sequential, it's working through things, it's analytical, um, it's, it's using numbers and all those sort of good business things. Right brain activity is much more the sort of thing we associate with, with the arts, um, with visual things. It's the overview as well, the sort of holistic aspect, taking, taking everything in. So the, there's two aspects of the way the white brain work. Ideally, if we're going to be creative, we want to make use of both. Um, we need both sides of the brain to get most effective uh, idea generation, because in the end, idea generation is about combinations, it's about putting things together in the brain, it's about making new connections, and the more of the brain we can use, the better. But the trouble is, the very act of sitting down, you know, sit down round a table, right, we're going to have some ideas in this meeting, the fact that you've sat down to have this meeting, whatever, is pushing yourself, forcing yourself into left brain operation, which is why a lot of creativity techniques are about trying to move you more towards the right brain side. It's not, not saying that creativity is all about these right brain activities, but merely we want to use all of the brain and the natural tendency for most people is to stick over the left hand side. Uh, you know, you do get some people whose brains are so um, loosely connected in some ways, I guess, that they, they find it very easy to, to flit around for the different sides, but for most of us, it does take a little bit, bit of effort. Uh, and there's a lovely demonstration that I'd like to quickly do. Is, is anybody colorblind? No? Okay, excellent. Um, that, Actually, you can feel your brain twitching mode. Um, it's something that a Dutch uh, psychologist called Stroop came up with. Um, and it's a very simple demonstration, but one where you can actually feel your brain switching between like, left and right brain activity. What I'm going to do is put up a series uh, of words on the screen. Um, there are words, let me put the first, first one up. Um, we have to rely on the projector working reasonably well for this. Uh, they're basically all colors. And what I'd like you to do is say out loud, it really needs you to say, to say this out loud, so nice and firmly just for convenience. Not the word that's written, but actually the colour the word is printed in. Uh, I'll give you a clue, that's red, um, just in, in case you're not quite sure. Uh, so basically, as I bring them up, I just want you to tell me the colour the word's printed in. Orange. You're too good, I can tell. Green. Oh, you are good. Red. Blue. Green. Green. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Red. Purple. Blue. 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 Red. And so on. Um, yes, you were all waiting for it. And you knew what was going to happen, but the fact is, even though you knew what was going to happen, I think you will agree, not only you got them wrong, but you can almost feel the gears changing. There's something in there that goes grunge. And that's basically, uh, as your brain... As soon as he sees words, thinks, aha, yeah, uh, you know, this is left brain stuff, this, I operate in this particular way, and effectively ignores the right brain side, which you need for the colour recognition. 